Have you voted already? You did, thank you. <laughs> It's so important that everybody participates, and um, and I thank you because I'm sure you got a lot of other things you could be doing, taking the time to vote. Really right. so thank you for that. And you enjoy your day, okay? Yeah! <laughs> hey guys, today is the day. It's finally here. This is better than Christmas. November 5th, 2024 is finally here, and I am so excited about today. I am wearing my red MAGA tie, right? Oh, shoot. Matter of fact, Black Lives MAGA. Yeah, Dark MAGA is here. And man, we're going to make history. This is going to be the best comeback story in political history ever. Now, the time I cut this video, I hope you guys have already voted, made your voice loud and clear, and we're going to trust the results, okay? Now, the difference between today and 2020 is, well, we don't have COVID, right? We don't have all these mail-in ballots and all this funny stuff, and Mr. Trump is prepared. Unlike last time, he didn't have lawyers all over the um, the precincts. So now he have over 500 lawyers. Everybody got their eyes. Make sure there's no funny business. Even though Kamala was well-funded, but Mr. Trump, he ran a better campaign. There's no doubt about that. I know you guys like to say, well, she used to be a senator and she had offices and the district attorneys, but she never had an opponent before. When she ran as a senator, she was running against a Democrat. District attorney, she ran against a Democrat. So she never ran against an opponent, especially like a Republican opponent. She never ran a successful campaign because all she ran against was progressives and other Democrats. She never had opposition. Remember the last time she had any opposition was in 2020 and Tulsi served her. She put over 1,500 people in jail for marijuana violations and then laughed about it when she was asked if she ever smoked marijuana. She blocked evidence. She blocked evidence that would have freed an innocent man from death row until the courts forced her to do so. She kept people in prison beyond their sentences to use them as cheap labor for the state of California. And she fought to keep cash you, bail system in place that impacts poor people in the worst kind of way. So this is the first time that she actually ran a campaign. And you see by her works, she is lazy. She's unenthused. Everybody that she has out there, she got to pay them to be her friend. I am so excited to be here in Nevada campaigning. Kamala Harris, our very friends are on the line in this election. So come on, everybody. Let's get loud. It's so bad for Kamala that she herself is out there knock knocking on people's door to get people to come out and vote for her in Pennsylvania. The bad thing about that is that was stage two. Oh, you want to do a door knock? Yeah, come on. Okay. 
Okay. Here, I'm gonna... I had your hat on. The Penn State game in front of 111,000 people all day Saturday. Everything that she do is stage. She busts in fake supporters. All these buses to take people to this rally. That's crazy. She got fake endorsements. She threatened these celebrities, allegedly, to come out and support her. Everything about her is fake and it's going to show. So by this time tomorrow, I hope Trump wins the popular vote and the electoral votes. So we can have no doubt, especially the popular vote. If he wins about three, four points in the popular vote, you're going to shut this down. We're going we're gonna, to we'll find out by tomorrow. Well, guys, we did our part. Now we got to wait for the results. And hopefully we have... 45 become 47 and will make America great again. Here's another ad. Millions of Americans sincerely love Donald Trump. They love him in spite of everything they've heard. They love him often in spite of himself. They love Donald Trump because no one else loves them. The country their ancestors fought for over hundreds of years has left them to die in their unfashionable little towns mocked and despised by the sneering halfwits with finance degrees but no actual skills who seem to run everything all of a sudden. Whatever Donald Trump's faults, he is better than the rest of the people in charge. Donald Trump, in other words, is and has always been a living indictment of the people who run this country. That was true when Trump came out of nowhere to win the presidency, and it's every bit as true right now. Trump rose because they failed. It's as simple as that. If the people in charge had done a halfway decent job with the country they inherited, Donald Trump would still be hosting Celebrity Apprentice. But they didn't. Instead, they were incompetent and narcissistic and cruel and relentlessly dishonest. They wrecked what they didn't build. They lied about it. They hurt anyone who told the truth about what they were doing. That's true. We watched. America is still a great country, the best in the world. But our ruling class is disgusting. A vote for Trump is a vote against them. That's what's going on in this country.